My name is Joe Bonlander, Clover Hill Dairy. We milk about 2,400 crossbred cows here. I have a son and daughter in business with us, with my wife and my brother. We built the digester in 2006. It's, it's a passion. This is our first project at a dairy farm. We've done other RNG projects before. We worked with the Nacelle team and the US Gain team, and we are the engineers on this project. We put in a gas upgrading system to take the biogas made in the digesters to upgrade to renewable natural gas. Cows in their daily processes obviously produce manure. Manure gets collected in a reception pit, and from there it goes to the digester. We first take that gas off of the digester. We use blowers and different equipment to increase the pressure. We use a, a set of heat exchangers and compressors to actually reduce the moisture. From there, it goes outside, goes through another set of compression, taking it up to over 3,600 pounds to be loaded on a trailer and driven down the road to a pipeline where it can be injected. From the pipeline, we dispense it as transportation fuel, typically in California. We handle all the regulatory compliance aspects of that as well. Renewable natural gas is much more valuable right now, and there are a lot of credits to be gained. We are able to really monetize three different buckets of value, is how we call it. There's a commodity value itself, so the value of the natural gas. Then there's two sets of environmental credits, a RIN credit, which is from the federal RFS, or Renewable Fuel Standard Program. And then there's also an LCFS credit, uh, which is for the low carbon fuel standard in California. So instead of the commodity price for natural gas, which is $3 per mm BTU, you can make $30 to $40 per mm BTU for renewable natural gas. This is a huge revenue stream for all parties involved. We've been up operating these plants at above pro forma uptime in the high 90s. I mean, we're covering over 99% methane, and we've been very successful. At this point, the only thing we have to worry about is keeping our digester maintained. We run our digester to the best of its ability. We get everything that comes out of the digester that we want. And once the gas leaves our digester, it's on them. It's made life uh, a, a lot simpler. I'm very proud of this project. This project started at the height of the pandemic. There was a healthy dose of skepticism as to whether we would be finished on time. There were supply chain issues and there were labor issues. The whole team realizes where their skills really are, who can bring value through the different aspects of the project. The project's been a real true collaboration. And I think these projects, in order to make them successful, the three groups have to work together very well and very closely. I think mean, Cloverhill's been an enormous success in that regards. The community has kind of a warm and fuzzy feeling about it. Sometimes people badmouth the large dairies, but when people come and actually see what we're doing here, they look at the system and they have a complete change of mind. We never have a neighbor complain anymore about us putting manure out. Nobody complains because there really isn't a bad smell. So it's kind of a neat thing. They're very exciting projects, fun and fast moving. When you can work with people that you enjoy working with, things are good. I think the digesters and what we see here is just the beginning. There's a huge potential for this kind of a project on dairy farms. We're making gas every day of the year and we're helping our environment. And I don't think that's something that the other forms of renewable energy can say. We really feel strong about that.